you went to college, you got the degree, you rec shop, you built up your confidence, you know, you, you built up your work ethic, but then you go into corporate America, you're in an environment where this environment is straight war. This environment is straight survival of the fittest. These guys perceive you as being a talent that's like that young talent. Think about it. Every time the NFL goes and there's a draft, they recruit the bigger, the better, the faster new guys that's coming in off the block that are hungry, right? And then the guys that are left, the veterans, realize that they got to keep moving their feet. They got to keep training. They got to keep recovering. They got to keep mastering their craft because there's somebody always on their heels that's ready to take their spot. If they get hurt, if they get injured, if they just can't go that day, they got somebody that's going to take their spot. So as great as we think it would be to be an NFL player, there's got to be a lot of anxiety that comes along with being an NFL player because from one day to the next, from one week to the next, you don't know how long your career going to last. You don't know if you're going to have a major injury, injury. You don't know if the team is going to trade you. You don't know none of these things, right? Any of these things can happen on any given day of the week. Any of these things is possible where your family might get uprooted. You got to move to a different city. So, you know, you're going to get up every day. You're going to train every day and you're going to do your thing. But you can't help the fact that they, they done recruited this new stud coming in. Or you can't help the fact that the quarterback, they just recruited. This kid is from another planet. <laughs> you know what I mean? You looking at the way his arm is accurate. See the way his mind works, the way he's cool and calm in the pocket. You like, yo, this guy ain't even human. And, and for a lot of them NFL players, you got to think they got to be looking at some of these new recruits that be coming in and be literally thinking like, this dude must be freaking alien. Did you see what he lifted? Did you see what he bench pressed? Did you see him run this hundred yards and then come over to the sidelines and he ain't even breathing hard? And so you're constantly being driven to become a better version of yourself. And you got you to constantly work. And you got to constantly figure out how to be more effective, how to be more efficient, how to recover. You know, you got to constantly figure out, OK, if these studs are coming in and they're faster and these studs are coming in and they're stronger, then how do I adapt? Because at that point in time, if you're not just as fast or just as strong as they are, then you got to rely on your skill and your mastery. You got to rely on the knowledge that you have that they don't have yet and know that it's only a matter of time before they start learning because they're going to be watching you. But then at the same time, you got to keep developing yourself. You got to keep making yourself better and stronger too.